Some into it here of simintuit.co.uk. If you're interested in home automation, then get across to my website and check out what I'm doing with it myself. Now I use it on a daily basis, and today I've got something that's going to interest people that use Tasker and have a broad link. Because if you use Tasker and you have a broad link, you've been waiting for the day to come about where you could get a plugin that would enable you to use Tasker with your broad link to do things like voice control it. Well, today is that day. Somebody's been working incredibly hard and they've created a plugin that allows you to control your Broadlink through Tasker. Now, I'm going to be testing it out the next couple of days and putting it through its paces, but quite simply, the way I plan on using it myself is to use voice control with my Broadlink. Now, I already do that with my computer, but the thing is, if my computer's off, I'd love the ability to still be able to do that. You know, my computer's on 24 seven anyway, but just on the off chance that I was rebooting it or something like that, to be able to control, you know, my Broadlink with Tasker using voice control, you know, that's just going to be crazy. So I'm going to be telling you how I'm getting along with that the next few days. But quite simply, I've just downloaded the app. I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like and just quickly tell you how it goes about doing what it does. So right now, I'm not even all that, you know, clued upon Tasker myself. I use it a little bit to do, you know, simple little things, but I've still not wrapped my head around it entirely. Anyway, the thing that you need to do once you've actually downloaded the app and your seven day free trial is go to tasks. Then you create a new task. So I'm just gonna put demo. Demo. When my predictive text decides to write what I want it to write. So we've put in demo, that's a demo task. Now we need to click the plus button at the bottom not sure what that's for, but quite simply, you know, I'm not sure what it's called, but that's what you need to do. Then you need to select plugin. And after you've actually downloaded the trial or if you've purchased it right outright, then quite simply you hit the RM plugin. And then where my image is, there's another configuration setting, which you click. And the great thing about this little app, this little plugin, is it actually finds what where your Broadlink is on your network, so as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it says selected device, you know, and mine's called Smart Home Control. And you can see it says type RM2. So it's quite simply found my Broadlink device. Now, all I need to do is select an existing code from my Broadlink app because what it does is instead of you having to learn all new codes for your Broadlink, you know, with this particular app, instead it just pulls all your existing ones from that you've already saved. Now I don't know how it does it, but it's a time saver. So, you know, I've got a hell of a lot of stuff, you know, set up on my Broadlink, learned on my Broadlink from my TVs in every single room to, you know, plug sockets to lights all around the house. So if I had to do that all over again, it would be a chore and a half. But instead, I don't know how this developer's done it. They found a way to do it. And quite simply, it just pulls all your existing configurations and all your existing learn settings. So you also have the option of learning a new code. So if there was a new device that you want to learn, then quite simply, instead of now using the previous app that you was using to learn for your Broadlink, you can now just learn them all with this new Tasker integration, which is crazy. Huge time saver and it opens up so many possibilities. So what I'm going to do is actually select an existing code from my Broadlink app just to show you what it does. And it gives me a list of all the things that I've learned and, you know, basically stored on my Broadlink app. Now, this is crazy. You know, every single thing that I've learned on my app. And as you can see from the bar at the side, I've got a lot stored on my Broadlink, you know. So to have done all this manually again, you know, it would have been a chore. But the developers done me and you a great justice by figuring out how to do this. So anyway, support them by buying the full version of their app. Like I said, I'm gonna test it out the next couple of days, put it through its paces, get it to do what I need it to do, which is to voice control you know, my broad link from my Android. And quite simply, then I'll do an update video and let you know how I get along. But I just needed to tell you that it is now possible to control your broad link through this special plugin for the Tasker app. So thanks for checking out this video. Go to simuntuit.co.uk, check out my website, check out my videos, subscribe to my updates. So when things like this come about, you get to hear about them first. So thanks for checking out this video. Bye for now.